Jeremy Stockman back again with a look at a movie that slipped through the cracks in the sidewalk of time, only to be stepped over by an unaware movie going public. Today I'm checking out Hopscotch starring the original Droopy Dog cosplayer, Walter Matthau. This one's got a timely message that we should all pay attention to, so let's take a look. Walter Matthau plays Miles Kendig, veteran CIA super agent who's pals with the Russians and an all-around great guy. But when new boss Meyerson wants him to step down and sit behind a desk, he says heck no and starts a sneaky plan to write his tell-all memoirs and share them with every spy agency on the planet. From there it's a game of hide and seek and Kendig travels the world, staying one step ahead of the CIA and mailing his chapters to all the interested parties he can find. The Soviets will read that teaser and realize how much information he's got in his pointer little head. They'll drop everything in a rush to grab him alive and squeeze him. Now we can't afford that, can we? He's such a pro, he makes the CIA look like chumps. He knows all the tricks in their book because, well, he wrote it. So while they're watching his gal Isabel and her dog, he's staying in Meyerson's house, tricking the FBI into shooting it up, escaping in a seaplane, meeting publishers in London, buying a vintage airplane, stealing a cop car, and faking his own death. Then, just when the CIA thinks they're off scot-free, spoiler alert, Ken Dick's posthumous book is a bestseller and he puts on brown face to gloat. I hope this book is half as exciting as they say it is. Oh, it is. 14 weeks number one on the bestseller list. Oh, how marvelous. Now, Hopscotch is one of those slick spy stories filled with twists and turns and double crosses. But you know what it's also filled with? An important message about HR management. Miles Kending had experience and was good at his job, but when the new boss Meyerson came in, he wanted all of his own people on the case. So instead of recognizing a pro, he tried to put him out to pasture. Sure, he was old, but he knew what he was doing. This isn't all that different from what happens when a company brings in a hotshot new manager who goes around kicking all the long timers to the curb. We're reassigning you, Kending. You're going to sweat out your time until pension, running the filing section, right here. The extra piece you're supposed to get here is that Matthau is from the greatest generation. Ronald Neem was laying down a warning to all those boomers who were coming up in the top brass positions that they shouldn't just boot out their elders because they don't know all the hotshot new management acronyms. Why? Because the geezers don't put up with that crap and are really going to F you up if you try. I'm not trying to prove anything, Joe. I'm, I'm just trying to have some fun. I don't freaking believe it! Matthau outworks out hustles, and out spies the young pups, embarrasses the country, and even gets Meyerson's house blown to bits. That's not just bitterness, that's sweet revenge. So the boomers were supposed to take heed and be a little more careful about who they gave the gold watch to. Now 40 years later, we're in the same boat. Only instead of the greatest generation being ready to go, it's the boomers. They learned the lesson Hopscotch had for them. Will the Gen Xers and Millennials take heed? Better hope so. We don't want a repeat of the wrath of Kendig. Who is this? This is Eleanor Roosevelt. So in the end, Hopscotch is a movie with a valuable warning for not just one generation, but all future ones for as long as there are HR managers and executive office shuffles. Let's just hope more people catch on so we can avoid another crash and burn. I'm Jeremy Sockman, and I'm giving Hopscotch my seal of approval. Go watch and the shackles for your chain And your piece of paper to say you left here sane And if you've a son who wants a good career Just get him to sign on the dotted line and work for 50 years He asked me how many jobs I'd had before He nearly had a heart attack when I answered for Four jobs in 20 years, oh this can never be We only take on men who work until they die